So here we have to obtain derivative of y with respect to x. It's given that x squared plus 2xy plus y cube equals to 32. So here our function is given in an implicit form. So what we'll do, we'll start with, with whatever is given to us. So here we have x squared plus 2xy plus y cubed. So this is equals to 32. So let's take the derivative on both sides with respect to x. Now what we'll do, we'll take the derivative of term by term. So we have derivative of x squared plus 2 being a constant. So we'll take 2 and multiply it to derivative with respect to x of x times y plus derivative with respect to x of y cubed. So this will be equals to derivative with respect to x of 32. Now we can use the power rule here to obtain the derivative of our first term, which will be 2x plus 2 times. So here we can use the product rule. So this will be uh, x times derivative of y with respect to x plus y times derivative of x with respect to x. Plus, to see, find out the derivative of y cube with respect to x, all we have to do is we have derivative with respect to y of y cube, but we'll have to multiply it to derivative of y with respect to x. So this is the chain rule. Right. So this will be equal to, so it's 32 being a constant, so the derivative will be 0. Now we have 2x plus, so we'll multiply the 2 to, to each of the terms within the parentheses to get 2x times derivative of y with respect to x plus 2 times y. Now derivative of x with respect to x, so that value is equal to 1. Plus, so derivative of y cube with respect to y will be simply 3y squared multiplied to derivative of y with respect to x equals to 0. Now what will do? we can combine the like term. So here we have 2x plus 2y. So this will be one single term. This will be added to, we have 2x plus 3y squared. We're multiplying it to the common factor, which is derivative of y with respect to x equals to 0. Now what we can do, we can isolate dy over dx. So the isolating dy over dx will give us negative times 2 times x plus y divided by 2x plus 3y squared. So this is going to be the value of our given derivative.